Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I'm Pretty Paper Craft 67. Today I just want to share with you some new craft supplies that I've just received. Um, and I'm so excited because it's the Tim Holtz ide Ideology, the 2024 new release. So um, I watched the Tim Holtz live a week or so ago. And I just loved a lot of the product and I contacted Catherine over on eBay and she said that she was receiving the new stocks and so I went ahead and placed my order. So I just wanted to share with you in, if you follow me, you know I'm a huge Tim Holtz fan and I just love working in that aesthetic. Um, but in Australia, the products are an, are an expense. So if you're like me and you live on a budget, they're quite an um, investment piece. So if you were wondering whether or not to purchase, I just wanted to share the products that I've received with you so that you can see for yourself quality and, and things like that. Um, I just love some of the new releases that have come out. They're really perfect for me because I like to do a lot of layering and collaging and things like that. So I'll get on and show you what I have purchased from Catherine. Um, so this is the new uh, 2024 layering um, set and this one's called Photo Studio. And I love this because it's all those old fashioned cabinet card uh, style pieces. You've got them in two sizes, a larger size and a smaller size. There are 44 pieces in this kit. So you have all your larger size, which are a good size. Uh, they measure, what is that, three and a half inches by five inches. So perfect for cabinet cards. Uh, with all those beautiful old fashioned um, text and, and sort of advertising on them. So you get those in the large and the small size. Quite a beautiful selection. And then you also get the little cabinet card frames to match. So they work gorgeous with photographs or you know vintage photographs and then you can team them up so that you've got a front and a back on your cabinet card or front and a back I should say. So, um, but I just put one together last night. I'm decorating a box. So there is a completed one right there, uh, just to give you an idea of what they look like with something in behind them. So, and as always with Tim Holtz, perfect quality. So I really in, I think these are a great investment for me because I, I do a lot of this kind of work. So they are um, exciting. Uh, I also bought the new paper doll set, and this is called Poses. Now, these are all, now how many pieces? 62 pieces, again, in this kit. Um, and you've got all your, some familiar, some new um, paper dolls. These are a mini size, so the paper dolls themselves measure approximately, oh, about three inches high. Some are a little higher. Um, but yeah, a really lovely variety of of the paper dolls. So um, I use these in a lot of projects. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Um, yeah, so heaps and heaps and heaps of paper dolls. But in this kit, um, they have also included the props, which... Oh, interesting. I'm not sure how I will use them at this stage, but um, you get some houses and you get some vintage cars. So, you know, you could kind of team up your paper doll with a vintage car kind of thing um, and make a, a, a theme or, or a, these would be great for like um, covers on your journals or things like that, scrapbooking. Beautiful. So you get quite a collection here. I think it's two of each in a large and a small size. So really pretty. And these thing, uh, this, this surface colours really, really nicely with the watercolour pencils. So you could add a bit of or inking. You could um, watercolour them or, or put down crayon or whatever you chose to work with um, to add a little bit of colour. 
like in this one here that I've decorated for the box. I've just coloured in her flowers and a little bit of her dress with um, watercolour pencils. So they take colour really well. So that is the um, new paper doll kit. And that's called Poses. So I um, love those. I can never get enough paper dolls. <laughs> uh, then they've also brought out this time in this um, new collection. These are called Paper Strips. And there's 89 pieces in this. And again, perfect for me for collage. But um, what they've done is they've taken all their backdrop papers and they've cut them into strips. So you have got a massive selection of all different patterned papers in strips ranging from, say, a quarter of an inch into like a half inch strips. So again, these are perfect for collage. Um, you know, if you're doing lots of layering, they're just really nice little statement pieces that you can put on your project. Um, yeah, you can include them in everything. So, um, and even nice just to take one and, and insert it in a pocket in your journal if you weren't putting them in collage. But yeah, a massive, massive variety there of all the different patterns. There's numbers and text and rulers and florals and, oh, just there's tickets and writing and, oh, just so much maps, so much butterflies, everything there. So they are perfect. And, and these are even great, like, to cut down. If you're doing specimen slides, for instance, oh, I've got one here. Perfect to cut down to frame out your specimen slide or you know, as I was doing the other day I was using um, film strip I don't think I've got one here here's one here that I was using a film strip so you know perfect for edgings and and things like that so if you're interested in the paper strips that's them and they measure in length uh, what is that about six inches so a really decent size so I love those now, um, and then when I saw these, I had to have these. These are the new collage strips. These are large. Now, I have worked with this with these smaller ones for a while now, and I just love them because they're versatile as a, as a complete strip, or you can cut them down to um, accommodate your projects. So I've used one on the spine of this box that I've been decorating. Um, so that's it there is one complete strip, but I've also used them and cut them down and added little bits here and there to my collages. So yeah, just a beautiful selection of all different pieces from the backdrops and paper series um, and a gorgeous color palette, every color that you could ever possibly want for any project. So yeah, and there's just gorgeous little, little sayings on them. Hold tight a while. Um, let me find another one. The most beautiful thing. So really, really well thought out. Beautiful graphics. Gorgeous um, your vintage photographs uh, featured in a lot of them. Beautiful florals. Just, yeah, really nice ideas to add to your projects. So, and I love this size. This size is, they're nine inches. Nine inches long by about two and a half or two and a quarter inches wide. So I really, uh, I love the smaller ones, but these are just even better. So yeah, so when I saw those, I had to have those. I'll just quickly show you through all of them. There's so 30 pieces, 30 pieces in this pack. And again, good quality paper, nice, um, nice weight and a nice feel. So they are the Collage Strips Large, new, uh, new release in the 2024 ideology. But this is my most favourite piece. These are called the Cello Sticker Tape. Um, now, I know there's heaps of videos on YouTube about ageing sticky tape. And I have tried to age sticky tape. Um, I don't, I personally don't have any alcohol ink, which seems to be that key component to ageing your sticky tape. I have done it with Distress Ink, um, but it just doesn't work the same. So when I saw these, I thought that I had to have these. 
So these are strips of, these are stickers that have been made to look like the aged sticky tape. So you get two of each sheet. So these are your smaller ones, smaller pieces, and then you go into larger pieces. And again, I think you get two of that one. No, that's a different one. I think that's that one. So you get two of that size, and then you get two of even larger again. So, um, yeah, I was really excited. And they're just a really nice quality sticker, if I can get them up. <laughs> oh, I can't get it up at the moment, but I peeled one up before. And, um, yeah, they almost feel like sticky tape. So when I saw those, I thought I've just got to have them because I didn't haven't had much success in ageing my own sticky tape. So that is my new toys that I'm, I'm so keen to get in and start creating with. But I just wanted to come on and share them with you um, just in case you were considering should I or shouldn't I buy um, anything from the new release. I suggest buy. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Very, very early here. Uh, so I am sorry if there's a bit of shadow. But, um, yeah, now I'm off to start my day and start to play. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Um, please stay safe and well, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.